Hey guys, Stealthy Cyber Taco here. Family's asleep. I'm gonna do what I do what I can do best to go ahead and teach y'all what DNS sinkholing is before my kids wake up. So wish me luck. Here we go. So what is DNS sinkholing? So essentially here there's a computer over here and they're trying to reach Facebook.com, YouTube.com, um, malicious hacking site.com if their machine is infected with malware. Um, but regardless, traffic is going to be flowing from left to right, okay? So, if a machine um, becomes infected, um, if, if it just becomes infected with malware or anything like that, and if there's DNS filtering set up, like Cisco Umbrella is one of them, basically what it does is it analyzes all DNS traffic and if something is malicious it's gonna sinkhole it so essentially here uh, the computer it's trying to talk to the malicious hacking sites but the traffic is not making it the traffic is actually being thrown down here it's thrown into a DNS sinkhole so essentially whenever um, there's like C2 servers involved whenever a hacker is trying to infect a whole bunch of different machines He'll essentially put a malicious file slash payload on an endpoint slash host machine, and he'll get that endpoint to talk back to the C2 server, aka the master machine. So, if an ISP or if it's or if the C2 server is like involved like in a cloud, uh, if it's if it's hosted by a cloud or even if it's um like a huge botnet and the ISP gets involved, the ISP can sinkhole the domain and or even like the cloud provider or whoever is hosting this C2 server can also sinkhole this domain. So let's just act like, you know, a bad hacker. He infected 100 machines. The ISPs and the cloud providers are going to realize that this is a malicious site and they don't want anybody going to it. So all of that traffic is going to be sinkholed. It's, it's going to be thrown in here. So essentially the computer is trying to reach out to the malicious hackers website, but it can't make it. It's because it doesn't exist, it's, it's been taken down. So it's being thrown into the sinkhole here. Um, hence, or therefore, even though that the endpoint cannot make it to the destination, there are still remnants of infection going on on that machine. So us as SOC analysts, as blue teamers, we still have to go on there and investigate and try to find out what's going on. Uh, run an AV scan, uh, do like an automated automated investigation, just try to find out what's going on. A lot of times, you know, these hackers, these C2 servers are their babies, so they want to set up redundancy. It's kind of like in the network, you know, how people will set up multiple firewalls in case if one fails. Um, same thing with networking. People will have multiple ISPs multiple just redundancy so hackers like to do the same thing they like to have redundancy so you know me as a blue teamer let's act like you know endpoint a host machine a is talking to malicious hacking sites i go and do my analysis um i go do who is queries i see that this site has been up for 10 days you know why it, why is this machine trying to talk to this domain that's 10 days old um, so that's a red flag right there. Um, we just like doing a whole bunch of other, um, you know, lookups to see is this domain malicious. There's a whole bunch of different tools that SOC analysts use. Um, but essentially, you know, me as a blue teamer, uh, if I realize that malicious hacking site is malicious, I'm going to then go ahead and go block it on the firewall or umbrella or, or whatever needs to happen so that so that computer cannot make it there. So... Um, I have like a little meme here. This is from the movie. Um, I can't remember what movie it is, but it's like a famous meme. This is Sparta. So essentially they're throwing them inside the hole right here. So you can just act like this is me as a blue teamer and I don't want the traffic going from left to right. So I'm kicking it into the hole. I don't want the computer going there into that hole. Um, another thing with the redundancy that I was mentioning Basically, hackers will set up backup uh, domains. So if the hacker set up endpoint A to go to malicious hacking sites, he might, you know, me as a blue team, I'm going to block that domain. A couple of days later, that same endpoint might be trying to make another DNS request to malicious hacking site 2. 
So me as a blue teamer, I'll go realize, you know, this domain has been up for three days. I'm going to go block it. And then a week later, maybe a couple of days later, that same endpoint is going to be doing another DNS request to malicious hacking site three. Um, that's basically just what the hackers do. They want to do redundancy, and that's something that I have seen out in the field. So those are just things to take, to, to, to take into consideration. So yeah, have a good rest of your day. Thank you.